what's going on y'all Taurus what is the deal baby happy birthday to all of my beautiful beautiful Tauruses it is Scorpion Reds Tefro back at it again to let you know what energies are surrounding you for the month of May 2019 yes indeed shout out to all my Tauruses shout out to all my Tauruses happy birthday to you all all right uh, i want to say what's up to all my new subscribers hello 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 thank you so much for sticking it in with me and clicking this video and you know sharing the love and light here with scorpion reds tarot if anyone wants to book a personal or private reading with me all you have to do is click that about tab on my youtube page there are a few links there first thing you need to do is book and then link okay so book the reading with me and then you link up with me baby okay so what you need to do there's a hyperlink on that about tab this is scorpion reds tarot as simply book me again it says scorpion reds tarot as simply book me after you book your reading all you need to do next is to link up with me so typically people just send me a message on instagram and um my um my message for my message my link for my instagram page is right under my booking page on the about tab okay so you can simply click that and send me a private message now if you don't have an instagram you can use google hangouts which is a simple app to download and you can use my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com and we can connect there for the video chat now i only do video chats if you do not feel comfortable with getting on camera you do have the option however I don't advise it, but it is an option where you can send me your question and I can do a direct video upload, a direct video private upload to YouTube. You will not be able to interact with me back and forth as if it was a face-to-face -face live video chat. So that's why I really don't advise it. But I do understand. Um, so you do have that option. But what you need to do is book your reading. All right. There is an add-on called the recap video. Okay. So just book your reading and then add the video recap, you know, to it, the add on and then send me a message and let me know. I prefer not to get on camera. This is my question. Can you just, you know, do the private upload and I got you. OK, so if this video resonates and if you would like to send a love donation to the page, which thank you guys so, so very much, because as you can see, my tower has risen, honey, it has risen and we have new decks. Thanks to you guys. <clears throat> We got um, the Twin Flame Messages Volume 2 by Mystic Moon that I just got um, from her as well as her signs from Spirit Oracle deck and her brand new Twin Flame Journey Tarot deck. So thank you guys so much for the love, light, and support that you guys have been sending and um, sharing with me because it allows me to put the love back into the page so that you guys can have some awesome decks here to um, get some, you know, accurate energy from so thank you again and if you would like to send some love to the page you can do so by um clicking my paypal link which is in the description and also in that about tab okay so enough with all of that all right let's get into the reading tours let's get into the prayer <sighs> thank you so much father god for bringing us here for the sign of taurus thank you so much for the love light the positivity the elevation father god we are rejoicing it is our birthday it's your birthday it's your birthday okay it's a bad b contest you in first place you hear me it's a bad b contest that you in first place baby you hear me taurus yes ma'am so listen Father God, thank you so much for just being triumphant and victorious in 2019. This is our year, Father. Yes, indeed. And we're starting out with a bang with Taurus, okay? Yes, yes, yes. We're all about foundations, all right? We're all about quality, <laughs> okay? We're all about celebrating and having a good time with quality people thank you so much father god please give us guidance for the beautiful wonderful sign of taurus in may 2019 and thank you again father god for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past present and future thank you again please give us guidance for the sign of taurus all right thank you so much please give us guidance for the sign of taurus thank you so much Please give us guidance for the sign of Taurus. All right. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh, 
love, trust in the reverse. Okay. Now, I normally don't read them in reverse, but, you yeah. know, just let you know, love and trust came out, but trust did come out in the reverse, okay? And we gonna find out why, because I spy with my naked eye some bull shiggy die, okay? Some bull shiggy die, okay? Some bull shiggy, okay? What's going on? You, don't, you ain't trust us, huh? You ain't about it. You ain't about it. Almost broke my shit. Okay, don't break. <laughs> no, ma'am, Miss Pam. I do not like green eggs and ham. I did was not expecting all that. I was being so rough, was I? Anyway, listen. Love. It says it is not about finding love. You are love itself. Help me, dear Lord, to send so much compassion and caring to the inner child that. I always remember that I myself am love. All right? So it's not about finding love, Taurus. You are love itself. So you got to care about that inner child, about that person deep within. Because, you know, children, they just run about just carefree, just full of love and just abundance. They don't care what come out of their mouth. They just do what they want to do to please them because... <laughs> Only thing they know is the love of themselves and what the hell they want. They don't understand having to care about other people. And I'm not saying to do that towards. But I'm just saying. Tap back into that inner ch child where it's just like it's so innocent. Like your love for yourself. You don't know anything about, you know, to the dramas of the world almost. Like it's almost foreign to you. So that's what it needs to be foreign, you know? Because it's not about finding love. Because once you tap back into that deep inner love like that, true love is going to come to you. It's almost going to kick in the door and wave in the faux faux, okay? Truth. When everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when, when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. Ooh. You do the talking, dear Lord. Take me over and speak through me. Hold up. Wait a minute. It's a 22. Hold on. That was deep, pony. That was deep, pony. Okay, so this says, truth. When everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. Hmm. You do the talking, dear Lord. Take me over and speak through me. Honey, if that wasn't a testimony, honey. So Father is telling you right now, honey, you need to learn when to be quiet. You understand what I'm saying? And maybe that's why you're not really getting to the truth of things. And you don't believe whatever this truth that is being told to you. Because you're not listening right, with the right set of ears. You're doing too much talking. You understand what I'm saying? When you be silent. Okay? You speak more with silence. You know? Let the silence. And, and, and it's like sometimes when people are. Talk a talk a talk a talk a talk and you you that emotional word vomit is out of a out of fear for something. You know what I'm saying? Because you feel like you got something to prove or you got something to show. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's why I says when everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. That is the biggest part of this whole shit. Your words come from silence, not fear. You do the talking. Dear Lord, it is not about finding love. You are love within itself. Help me, Lord, to send me so much compassion and care into the inner child that I always remember myself. I am love. Come on now. It's about self-love. Sometimes it's, you know, sometimes when loving yourself is just not responding, not reacting to everything and just sitting back and just... Letting stuff be and just observing shit and not getting yourself, you know, riled up, showing stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because number one, you are 
bringing up a whole lot of adrenaline within you. You know what I'm saying? Getting upset like that. And you really not getting to the truth. And that's what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? You got to love yourself enough to, you know, trust that inner child. And that innocence. Go back to that innocence. And just learn how to just learn when to talk and when to be, you know, strength in reverse. Give me guidance for Taurus for May. And Queen of Cups in reverse. What's going on with you for your birthday, baby? The Empress, your children. Yeah, your children. Something about the... Something about... You having to be strong for your children. And... You trying to put some shit back together from your childhood. And you've been watching somebody real closely. This King of Pentacles... Who moved who you moved away from you moved away from like Leah A like Leah A Leah A thick in the thigh thick in the waist thick in the right motherfucker places Benita 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 A so listen right now this is what I'm getting right now Taurus especially if you're a Taurus woman Right now, for whatever reason, I feel like something has been upsetting you a lot. And one thing I can't tell you about about yourself, Taurus, you 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 are exuding self love. But I just feel like you just fiery as shit, right? Now. <laughs> like that's honestly like how I feel like you're just like what what <laughs> you know? What I'm saying? <laughs> like that's it that's it and it's just like that i believe that's why it says like your words your words should come from your silence not from fear because right now with the strength being in reverse because you see how that lion is yelling at her but she don't seem phased so that might be a leo that might be blowing down your ass you know what i'm saying it might be a line that's blowing down your ass. And I feel like for some reason, you you standing up for yourself because you love yourself enough. And you're not going to just let anybody just feed you untruths. And you're not, and you just going to take it. You see what I'm saying? But I feel at some point, this person does have some type of dominance over you where you feel like you're overpowered by this. Um... I was about to say entity, Lord Jesus, but you overpowered by this person. And I want to say like it his this person, this have it be oh, and this could very much so be a woman as well. This could be a Taurus woman. This could be very much so a Taurus woman. So I feel like whoever this is is very aggressive and possibly physically or emotionally abusive. And because it's the way that this lion is it's very aggressive. It's extremely aggressive. But you need to get to the point where you're not faced by this. And you removing your... I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, because you, right now, this situation with this person, you feel weakened by this person. You stand up, but you don't stand up all the way like that, like that. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, this person puts you in an emotional rut. You feel insecure about yourself. Um, I feel like you put yourself down. Like when you look at yourself in the mirror. Because of the shit that this person has put in your head. Like. I, well I just heard Stockholm Syndrome. Like. <laughs> like you were held captive. And you fell in love with your abuser or some shit. Like for real. Like no bullshit. Like that's just what I heard. Stockholm Syndrome. Like someone that fell in love with their abuser or some shit. Like. Seriously, and I feel like this is like, and I hate that this energy comes up every now and then, but I've talked to many of you guys, and a lot of you guys are dealing with this, are dealing with this, 
And a lot of you guys have come out of it because you realize that you are the Empress right now. And I feel like a lot of you guys, it might be a secret right now that you already have kids by this person, but I feel like you're pregnant and you're expecting right now to possibly, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like there's something here where y'all are trying to piece some things back together and put some things back together that was knocked over and that kind of maybe fucked you up from when you were a child. I feel like uh, maybe you might have grew up in an abusive childhood. Like maybe, I, I don't necessarily feel for everyone that there's physical abuse in the situation, but I definitely feel like it is an aggressive person, a very dominating person. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like there's a lot of y'all, y'all don't pay this motherfucker attention. You see what I'm saying? Because you know your strength. And you're in this part of self-love. But you just need to learn how to shut the fuck up so you can really get the truth. Because this motherfucker be par barking big shit, but you ain't, you ain't believing it. You understand what I'm saying? And that's why you feel insecure and you all clingy and emotional and, and, and bullshit. I mean, like, you, you need to pull yourself up. You need to pull yourself up. Because... I feel like you be looking through this person's phone. Listen, you be looking through this person's phone. You be on their Instagram, thumbing through the, the shit to see who like they stuff. Like, I feel like you're, you're looking, trying to figure out what's going on with this King of Pentacles. You're trying to figure out what's going on with him and where his money been going. That's why I just, I really just got that really, like where the fuck his money been going. You try. You have to focus on the kids that you got and the kids that you got coming. The child that you got coming. You got peace above your crown. You're the empress. You don't have time to really focus on trying to put back together some shit that was spilled over from childhood. And I feel like maybe this King of Pentacles for some of y'all might be be someone that you have kids with that y'all done been with each other since y'all were fucking kids. Y'all done known each other for a long ass time. Y'all known each other for a long ass time. And I feel like that's why you won't divorce him. Like no matter like what type of shit that be going on. You won't divorce him because of how long the child known each other. Not only that, but he's a good protector. And he's a good, like he's a good provider. Like this, he like, he's a good provider. He's a good provider. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know in your mind that. Things are not that good here. And I feel like some of you guys have already left. And I've spoken to a lot of you guys. And I know that a lot of you guys have already left this person. But you still have to deal with him in some aspect. Because this is your children's father. You know what I'm saying? And some of you guys are leaving. Because I honestly feel like y'all situation ain't growing. You know what I'm saying? Like It's not growing. And you needed to be more solid than what the fuck it is especially for the amount of time that y'all done been in with each other it's like we shouldn't just feel like i'm just getting here with you yet again like i feel like this is a situation where y'all kept having to leave and start over leave and start over leave and start over but this time when you left and you came back or vice versa whatever however it happened it ain't really you know what i'm saying like that foundation just not there no more. That security ain't there no more. Only thing that's secure is him being a good father, him taking care of everything. You know what I'm saying? In regards to the house foundation and, and things like that. You know, going to play football with the son and, you know, fixing the car and doing the long. Like, yeah, he got that. You know what I'm saying? But you don't trust him. And like I said, it's, it's something... Something here, there's something here that you're looking and you're trying to find out what the fuck is going on. And like I said, where the fuck that, where this, where this pinnacle, where this pinnacle going? That's like I'm getting that in a very, very strong way. Give me some guidance in regards to what's going on with Taurus for the month of May. What's going on with this energy here with Taurus? All right. And I do feel like that's why a lot of you guys, the ones that haven't moved away yet and that are going to move away. Because as you can see, this woman is focusing on her children. And like I said, this woman does not want to raise her children in the same broken pieces, in the broken atmosphere that she was raised up in or that he was raised up in. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
for a lot of y'all this situation with the person that y'all dealing with reminds y'all of y'all childhood and y'all trying to clean up some shit from your childhood because you don't want your children to go through that and like I said, I feel like a lot of y'all are expecting right now. And you like, I got to protect my kids. That's why you trying to look out and figure out what the fuck is going on with this motherfucker. Whatever you find, you like, I'm leaving. I don't make my motherfucker mind up. Ain't going to be no solid. Ain't nothing here. Ain't nothing here because this motherfucker playing around too much. Like, I don't give a fuck. And I want to say that this has to do with marriage. I feel like there's a situation where someone feels like... Number one, I be having to put up with too much of your bullshit. And I want to say that that Ace of Pentacles, that is, that is like marriage. That's marriage. I want to say that it just wasn't on the table. And not only that, it's just, it's some other shit going on because you're feeling insecure. I feel like you feel unwanted. You feel like you had to cling to this person. Something about this situation that didn't make you feel whole. The shadow. You don't know what's going on in the shadows of this situation. Mm-hmm. What is this here? Lucid. Oh, no. This is light. Light. All right. I feel like a lot. Of, you don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on in the shadow. For some reason, the, you're not able to see the light. But your destiny is calling to you. But you're, And you're discontent. And you're bored with the situation. You want to get away so you can rest and rejuvenate. That's what your intuition is telling you. I, yeah, I feel like some of y'all, yeah, y'all are definitely traveling and moving away because you need, you need peace. You need peace. That's why you done made your mind up and you moving. That's most definitely true. Because you don't know what the fuck is going on with this person, but we going to find out. You don't know what the fuck is going on with this person. I feel like where this person been, where his money's been. I feel like this person puts up a good front, taking care of everything. He just like, just everything's perfect. You understand? But you know something ain't right. Your heart is calling you to do something greater than just this. I feel like someone feels like I'm just a mother. Like, like I'm not just here just to, just to have your fucking kids and for you to control me. And I just don't feel confident about myself. Like, I just feel like I'm letting myself down, not doing something more for myself. I'm more than just a mother. And I'm more than just somebody that you could just sit here and yell at and fucking control and shit like that. I'm a grown ass motherfucker woman. And you gonna stop dealing with me like that. That would be the words of someone who seen the light. You see what I'm saying? But for some reason, there there are some of you guys that are not seeing the light in this situation. And it's going to stay in this situation a little bit longer and still... Because y'all, I feel like y'all are not going to leave until y'all figure out within the shadow of a doubt in your mind what's going on. That's why y'all searching like that. I mean, when I'm talking about y'all searching, it's an everyday thing. Like, y'all spend time trying to figure out every day with every post, every everything. All right? Y'all are not seeing the light that that's not healthy for you. You searching that deep, trying to figure out what's going on in the shadow. That's really what's weakening you. You know what I'm saying? And then this person's, their aggressiveness, you will let that intimidate you. And you're finally letting that solar plexus, and not only that, but your crown chakra, finally get to the point to come into some understanding. I should have seen the light a long time ago. This situation, not only <laughs> am I discontent with this, but I'm bored to high hell. And, you know... I need to open up my mouth and speak out and just say, listen, what's best for my heart is finding something that is a little bit worthwhile to me. I'm fucking bored. All right. I need to get the fuck away from you so I can get my mind together. OK. All right. I need to get the fuck away from you. OK, because I need to get my foundations together. And if there ain't going to be no foundation here, then I'm, I'm leaving. Like I'm bored with this shit. I'm bored with this shit. OK. So somebody's leaving everything to fuck behind with, with whatever situation it is. And they going with the good book. Because the good book told them, uh-uh, I deserve more better than that. I deserve better than that. Give me words from the person at Taurus 
is dealing with. How does this person in Taurus dealing with? How does this person feel? How does this person in Taurus is discontent and bored with feel? This king of pentacles, okay? This Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, male or female. Thank you so much. My mind and heart always seems to come back to you. I miss you regardless of how it seems. I got spooked. And our connection still affects me. Alright. So what I'm basically getting from that is that, you know... This person thinks about you a lot and they miss you no matter how cold they seem, okay? They do think about you, but I really don't think it's, it's very vague. I'm just going to be honest. It's very, it's lightly, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's something about this connection that it scares them and I feel like that's why they use that control over you your connection like when you left it affects them because I feel like this person for some reason something happened to this person in their childhood or yeah something happened to this person in their childhood or even as a, like a teenager or something like that where they felt like someone took advantage of them and they use that sense of power and that force like that to try to dominate and control people so that because they they operate out of their ego do you understand what i'm saying because they have a very sensitive his sense of pride and ego and they're they're the weak one like for real for real they're not as strong as you think that they are you know they have fucking issues how does Taurus feel it was me not you Taurus had to get the fuck up there I'm trying to do honorable things yes Taurus I care too much what others think right now a lot of people is really caring about what was going on how people feel about them and how they looking out there in the streets. Like they're not just about to let anybody have them. I can't take this anymore. Come on Taurus. Taurus. Says my family and upbringing is a bigger factor than I realized. Listen. Taurus realizes that. Listen. It, it wasn't you. It's me. You know what I'm saying? Because. Maybe for you. This shit for you is normal and, you know, stuff like this. But whatever, this relationship was a trigger for Taurus because I feel like it it, it, it it fucked with them because of something that happened in their household. In their household. And like I said, they're trying to do their honorable thing right now and worry about what's best for their kids. Because I feel like in their past, someone did not do that for them. When they were children, someone did not give a fuck about how the children felt. You understand? And they have to do the honorable thing because they give a fuck about what other people think right now. Because it's just like, I feel like a lot of people just be like, man, why the hell you got your kids around this clown ass? You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever this is, it's really dysfunctional. And Tor said, my family upbringing was, is a bigger factor than what the hell I thought it was. And that's why I'm trying to tell you it's not... It's that person, but it's more of Taurus de deciding that they got to do what's best for them because they can't take this shit anymore. Taurus says, I feel too much pressure right now. Okay? I feel too much place, uh, 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 pressure right now, but you are irreplaceable because clearly this person is has kids with Taurus. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're irreplaceable, you know? Like, y'all always going to be in my life, but at the end of the day, like, you know, I feel like someone got to really deal with some deep shit in the shadow. Let's find out what's going on in the shadows, shall we? Let's find out what's going on in the shadows with the situation. Because someone wasn't seeing the light. 
but their destiny is calling to them and they're like man it's something better than this it's something better than this i'm fucking bored by the situation and like my wisdom and shit is kicking in and i can't make the same mistakes that my parents made what is this cowardly Taurus is tired of feeling like that, man. They're tired of feeling like that. They feel cold. You understand? They don't have any emotions right now. Escapists. They are trying to figure out a way to escape out of this situation. Is there any other messages? Thank you so much. Is there any other messages for Taurus? For May? Taurus felt like they felt second in this situation. I told you. Uh-huh. And this situation was all based off of lust. I feel like it, this was a situation where, yeah, mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. I can see clearly now the rain is gone like shit, okay? This was a situation that was based off of lust. Please give me some additional local information. All right, about this situation with Taurus and this love situation. It's true. When everything is done as an offering, all right, even the act of speaking. Because you understand, you got to think about who you offer your energy to if they're worthy of that offering. You understand? Someone that you got to feel like this with, you be scared to speak. Come on. No. Give me guidance for Taurus. May 2019. Luck. Yellow. Confidence, success, happiness, optimism. Luck. Ladybug. Come on. All right. You want to come out? Come on now. Let it be shown. Let it be shown. This was in the reverse. Am I reading reversals? Yes, I am. All right, so yellow came out. The color of yellow. You might be seeing a lot of sunflowers. It's just like a lot of yellow. Or you need to embrace the color yellow. And if you don't know who the goddess Oshun is, you need to look up goddess Oshun. You understand? She's the goddess of beauty and love. Okay? She represents the sun. The, um... The, sign, uh, the color of yellow, all right? And confidence, success, happiness, and, optim and optimism, and love, self-love. That is definitely something that she empowers and exudes, okay? So to all my black queens, okay? And to all my queens of the world, it don't matter what you are. Do you understand? If you're going through something right now, I need you to tap into your inner yellow. I need you to be a honeybee, honey. It's time for you to go about in the world and find something new. Find a new flower to sit on, baby. All right? It's time to find a new flower to sit on. Because right now, you don't feel like your luck has been popping off right now in this situation where you've been at. You feel like you have a lack of freedom. And you've been dreaming of a new future. But this situation that you've been dealing with, all right, is stinging. All right? Because there's a lot of jealousy going there. I told you the Queen of Cups in reverse. There's a lot of insecurity and jealousy going on. All right. This is violent in reverse. Intuitive spirit, self-aware. This is in the reverse. Okay. This is that crown chakra. Spirit is just take, you know, basically saying that there's luck and this freedom and all this stuff is in reverse. It's because you too busy nursing and holding on to this jealousy and dreaming of things being better. But you're not using your intuition right now. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's why that light isn't, you know, that's in the reverse. And that's why the shadows is in, in the reverse. You need to deal with this. You need to deal with this. I need you to step out of that queen of cups. Because the queen of cups can be obsessive. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're obsessing over a situation that brings you a lot of pain and sorrow. But still you won't let it go. You know what I'm saying? Cloud shapes guardian angel so listen you might be i feel like you're in the clouds like i really do feel like you're almost yeah like you're living a dream you're living in a dream world thinking something is gonna 
be different and, and you got to get out of the clouds you have to use your crown chakra and tap into your intuition because like this says the hourglass time is slipping you got less time than what you think you do you understand what i'm saying like time is really passing you by as you turning around every time you turn around and you look at your kids they're growing and growing and growing and growing and it's like you keep saying i'ma leave i'ma leave i'ma leave and the next thing you know your kids going to be grown and when you they grow up and they look at you with the same resentment that you look at your parents with you know what i'm saying you don't have that much time these kids are getting older Think about what you're subjecting them to. If you're in a the household, there's a whole bunch of yelling and all that shit. Stop. Listen. Stop. And, and a lot of people, they be holding on to situations and they be trying to fight to stay in the relationship because they jealous and they want to battle with the side bitch. No. Or you the, you the side bitch and you want to battle with the main bitch. No. Sometimes that jealousy feeds that. It feeds that, you know... It'll feed you to keep fighting for something that is stinging your ass. You know? It's stinging. Stop, stop, stop dreaming. Stop dreaming. It's like almost like you high. You tripping on some strooms and shit. I need you to come down off this high. Because you tripping. You understand what I'm saying? It's like a lot of delusional energy here. You know what I'm saying? Especially with that Queen of Cups up there. You know? You're not using your intuition. You're not tapping into your spirituality and being uh, uh, self-aware. And you're in the clouds. And you're not realizing that time is moving quicker than you should. Than you realize it. It says partnerships and balances. Pay attention to the new people entering your life. Take time to balance the energies with the existent ones. You're going to have to balance this relationship with this person. Regardless because this person is your the, the, the father or the mother of your children. Do you see what I'm saying? But you may be seeing a lot of 222. Two, two. Maybe every time you look up at the clock, you're seeing 222. Two, two. So that is reminding you. Time is ticking. Pay attention to the new people in your life and find a better way to manage the relationships that you have right now. Do listen. Okay? It's time for you to stop playing and really grab the key. Do you understand? And unlock the true message. You know what I'm saying? The true lesson that you're supposed to be learning throughout this experience. Just because you have kids with somebody, that don't mean that that's your soulmate. You understand? Maturity. Beard. And I don't know if some of y'all are out here being a fucking beard for some listen. Y'all better not be the one that they got sitting in the yard to make everything look nice and fancy. And you know how people put the little garden gnomes and shit out there to make the, the yard look all pretty. But then you go inside of their house and stink. It's like a hoarder's a pig pen or some shit. But the whole day outside of their house look very deceiving and shit. Don't be being no beard for nobody. Y'all play, 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 playing. You know what I'm saying? Like everything cool and shit. And it's not. Don't be that cat at home bitch with the kids and shit like that. While somebody running around doing whatever the fuck they want to do. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. Mm-mm. Let me go here. No, no, no. I got... Ah! Okay. Maybe I do need to go here. Let's go into love. Clarify. Okay. Free will. You got free will to change everything that's going on. And you said you're not settling no more. Come on, Taurus. I told y'all y'all said y'all leaving. Y'all ain't got time for the bullshit. Y'all ain't got it. Y'all not enthused by this union no more. I told y'all y'all bored. What is this? You listen. You, you, you grabbed your key, right? All right? It was hard for you to come to conclusions, but you done got the key. You got to focus on your family and what's best for your family. You can't come to conclusions about this situation no more. It's like you got to do what's best for your damn family right now. This is cycles. Like you've been going through cycles and cycles and cycles and cycles with this person. This person's been crossing their fingers and holding shit behind their back on you. And this, <laughs> listen. And whatever the hell they've been trying to message, they've been trying to reach out to you. It hasn't been received because I really do feel like a lot of y'all did move. A lot of y'all got in that. Y'all got in that boat and y'all got some assistance from like a family member. I just heard an uncle, like an uncle or somebody helped you move. 
Because you just went in a better environment for your children. And you said, I can't keep going through these damn cycles with this person. This person has no intentions of marrying me. And, um... I heard growing family. Growing family. I have a growing family. Like, I don't have time for this shit. And, and I just, like, I ain't in a very strong way. I, I have someone that's like, I'm not raising this, this one. I'm not bringing this one. I done came to conclusions about this. I can't raise this one like that. Yes, another travel card. Moving forward, triumphantly going on faith. They not caring what nobody got to say. They know what their gut is telling them. And they got to move the fuck on. Listen, whatever little bullshit they can put in their little bag. They don't put that shit in their bag. And they don't grab their kids. And they don't got the fuck up out of there. There's some secrets that I came the fuck up out. And you said, no, bitch. Guess what? Because I wasn't stupid. All, whatever the fuck it is that was deep in your gut that you knew. That you thought you knew. You wasn't stupid. Because it's coming out. And it came out. And you don't figure every goddamn thing because this shit has been, this is that, this is why the Queen of Cups was in the reverse. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I want to say that there might, I want to say that the Queen of Cups, if that's not you that's being insecure, acting real, like, an emotional fucking wreck. Like this bitch is 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 very just crying all the time. I feel like this person be calling someone crying all the time and shit like that and just uh, uh, <laughs> like I feel like I want to say the secret came out that to this empress about this water sign could be a Pisces woman. Could be a Pisces woman. I want to say. A secret came out about this Pisces woman because I, this woman probably called the Empress. Why the Emperor? The Empress, listen. <laughs> Ooh, bitch. I want to say, after all of the shit that Taurus put up with, right? They couldn't take it no more. They don't have no more strength to do with this shit. Some emotional, fucking immature ass bitch called you. I'm just trying to come to you as a woman. What? About my husband? Or about my man that I got two or three kids with and I'm about to have a baby with? About that one? Yeah. Because I've been with your man. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I ain't got it to do. I ain't got it to do because guess what? I've been with this motherfucker since we were kids. Okay? And I've been trying to put shit back together with this motherfucker for a long time. But guess what, bitch? You remind me of some shit back in my past. When my that's exactly what the fuck my father did to my mother. Uh huh. I'm about to investigate this shit and figure out what the fuck is going on. Cause if there's any truth to this bitch, you best believe, motherfucker, you gonna be taking care of these goddamn kids. Yeah, you still gonna be taking care of these motherfucking kids, but bitch, I'm gonna get my ass in this goddamn boat and I'm moving. Okay. So it's gonna be a long day in motherfucking November for you, bitch. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, it's gonna be a long day. Look, what that's the end of your physical season, bitch. Okay, what <laughs> you gonna be putting out a long ass coin because I'm gone, like I'm gone. Like, no, I feel like this shit came out. This shit, this something, something came out, and someone said, Oh no, I'm not about to do this. I don't trust you. The truth, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's why spirit was saying, If you just be quiet. You understand what I'm saying? Because this person is doing a whole bunch of barking. And you can't take that shit. This person is doing a whole bunch of motherfucking barking. This motherfucker, this, this, this bitch young. Like, she don't even know what the fuck. Like, I don't know her. Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, you just sitting there with your kids on your lap. Like, huh? What? Piece, of, piece above your crown. You're like, uh-uh. What? Huh? Huh? What? Ain't that the same bitch that we knew from high school? Oh, no. <laughs> Let me figure out. Let me figure out what the fuck. Because I know. Good. Let me figure out how long this shit been going on. Let me figure out how long this shit been going on. Oh, that's where you be saying that you be going when you be going to bowling and shit like that with your friends and shit. It's cool. Uh-huh. I, I guarantee you when you come back from bowling this time, I guarantee you I won't be here. I see you in court because, yeah. 
It's gonna be a long day. Look, cause I'm I'm gonna be gone to November. I'm be gone to November. I'm sorry, sorry. I'm be gone to November. I'm be gone to November, nigga. What the fuck? You thought I wasn't gonna find out about this crab ass shit? No, I feel I feel like she found out about her man and his friends and them just be out just with whole bitches or some shit like that. And you was like, oh no. And whoever this woman that they was with was a six of pentacles. Like, yeah. And you just like, I'm not giving to this situation no more. You understand? It's, it's not it's not balancing out for me on a, on, on a monetary stance. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this is a situation where you don't even like take, taking care of this motherfucker no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, once this shit came out, you decided that you had to leave because... The thought of having to sit there and still cater and take care and give to this person, help this person pay bills in this house with this man and disrespected me or this woman and disrespected me. I'd rather take the shit, the clothes on my back and walk the fuck out of here with nothing. I will not give to you. I will not. I would I will not. Four wands in reverse. Divorce card. There's a divorce coming. There's a divorce coming. There is a divorce coming. Give me one more spread in love, and then I'm going to clarify that, and then we up out of here. The toy sack, I got free will to do what the fuck I want to do now. Listen. Listen me. All right? Confidence, success, happiness, optimism into the future. This situation brought bad luck to her, all right, or to him. And then, like, you're not about to keep holding back my freedom, bitch. And, look, right at the bottom of the deck was bound, was the devil card. Bound. You just like, uh-uh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like there's a very negative attachment there with you guys. Like, this person knows your weaknesses. This person has been with you that long that they know you in and out. You know what I'm saying? Healing. Yeah, you need, you need, use that free will card and, and go forth towards your healing, baby. Do you feel me? Use that, use that card, okay? Use that free will card. That's what God gave it to you for. Focus on your healing, baby. Focus on your healing. What's this? Yeah, you're not compromising. You're healing and you're not compromising in this love situation. Oh, what separation? Uh-huh. You feel this on every dimension. Mind, body, heart, soul, spirit, everything, honey. You, it ain't gonna be no compromise. Sorry for you, okay? Long kiss, good night. We're separating, bitch. I won't do it. Mm-hmm. It's divine timing. Everything happens for a reason in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Tor said I'm not doing it. I damn the fuck sure ain't do it. And on my birthday, huh, bitch. That's my birthday present to me, getting the fuck away from you. You think I'm about to be sitting up here? What, posting, playing with you, and on the holidays, faking online like I'm happy being the beard and shit like that. I'm too fucking mature for that, bitch. I'd rather be happy. I'd rather be happy by my goddamn self to be sitting up in a situation faking like I'm happy when I'm not. That is not mature. That is not self-love. That is not self-love. And I, for damn sure, am not going to teach my damn children to tolerate no shit like that. Them growing up watching mommy be a weak bitch. Saying, hell no. I give a fuck. I don't give a fuck how long I know you. I don't give a damn how long we've been rolling in the mud with each other. Fuck you. Mm -mm, no, cause I'm mad. Like I'm angry. <laughs> give me additional guidance. Strap. Listen, toys grab that goddamn strap. They done got the fuck up. Once that shit listen me. Once this shit come the fuck out. Toy said, now guess what? Guess who the lion now? Guess who the beast now? Because y'all got me fucked up. What? The fuck? Look, don't it look like they woke up the beast? Did you really just wake me up? Oh, yeah. 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 What? Authority. The number eight. That's authority. What is this saying? The five of cups. Yes, the five of cups. They are no longer nursing these old wounds. They are no longer nursing these old wounds. They are turning around and looking at the other opportunities that life is offering to them. Taurus is not doing it. What is this? Page of swords, thoughts. Instead of them 
kind of like stalking and investigating, trying to figure out what this person that they were dealing with is doing. They're focusing their mind on their thoughts about what they're going to do, what they're planning is. You know what I'm saying? What their next move is. Getting their mind together, you know? <laughs> they taking their authority back and they getting their mind together. And they just said, no, fuck that shit. I got, I got other things that I could be doing with my life, man. It's, <laughs> there's just it's other things out here better than this. What is this? The Six of Swords. The Six of Swords, okay. So this is the Six of Swords up here. So this says um, tranquility ahead. I feel like in these thoughts, I feel like you're worried about how life is going to be if you move forward without, you know what I'm saying, trying to go at this alone. You know, I really feel like that's a big worry on you. And for a long time, that that's been what has cause a delay in you moving but the six of wands <laughs> you want to be recognized and you want to be successful and you want to win like you just want to win you know what i'm saying and that's why it's like i gotta get my mind together i gotta get my thought process and shit like that together because i can't move forward successfully and win and be victorious the way i, I the way that i want to be you know what i'm saying I can't do that if I don't get my thoughts and my mind together because I'm this all of this shit is divine timing. All right? All of this shit is divine timing. And I'm out here to win. It's the eight of wands in reverse. There might be some block communication. So I feel like and honestly, in order for Taurus to get their mind together and to really successfully process everything effectively so that they can do what's best for their children. They had to pack up and just like abruptly move. They had to be guided by faith. Like they, they just did what their heart and their mind and their body and their soul told them to do. And they can't, they can't get their mind together. If you still keep sending me all these fucking messages, I, just, I, I, I don't want to talk to you. Like I swear for God, I don't want to talk to you, bro. I don't want to talk to you because this person keep trying to talk to you to try to get you to come back. No, I don't want to come back to you at all. All right. So listen, this has been y'all reading tours. Listen, partnerships and balance. Pay attention to the new people entering your life. Take time to balance your time and your energy with existing ones. When everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. Okay? You do the talking, dear Lord. Take me over and speak through me. No backing down, man. Ain't no backing down. You know the truth. You know the truth. You know, I don't know why some people be, it's like, I, I, I be asking like sometimes, like, you want to, you want to walk in and see your man fucking a bitch in your house or some shit like that? Like, I really be wanting to know that sometimes because me, I be too scared. See, I'm scared of myself. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, I am scared of how I would jeopardize me being able to provide a livelihood for my children, for me to sitting back and be waiting for to see and know for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like literally stalking and investigating. And like I don't want to see it. Like if my intuition is telling me. I done been through this before. This is the same shit I've been going through over and over and over again. The same cycles. What's the pro? I got to come to my own conclusion. They, 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 they won't be. I can't be living in no clouds about this situation. You got to turn this around. Violet. Your intuitive spiritual self-awareness you hear me Taurus I love you I will see you in the mid months peace love and hair grease peace love and soul it's like no I'm playing but <laughs>